In this video, I play Terraria, but here's the twist. I'll be playing with the Amulet of Many Minions mod, plus the ability to summon an infinite amount of minions. Oh, and did I mention I'll be playing this on Master Mode? Hope you all enjoy. Alright, so the first thing to do is get a summoner weapon. And the easiest way to do that is by chopping down wood. Okay, uh, 92 should be enough. Now let's make the acorn staff. Ooh, slow. That's all right. Now we can uh, summon as many as we want. But we do have to wait for our mana to regenerate, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to need a lot of stars and we're going to collect those at night. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make another acorn staff just because it's really easy to make. Uh, let's see if we can get something better. 20. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh. Okay, we got a living witch tree. Hopefully there's like the finch staff or something, something useful. Okay, we got the bow of friendship, but I don't think the amulet, or not the amulet, uh, the infinite minions mod will affect this. All right, let's see what kind of pet we can get this time. Last time I got the cinder hen, so we're gonna choose some, some different answers and hopefully we can get something different. Do you replant trees after chopping them down? After a while, yes. A Martian probe has caught you off guard and is now flying away. How do you respond? I usually let it find me and then let it fly away because I do want a Martian invasion to start for a chance to get like the uh, UFO mount. So yes, that one. How well organized are your chests? I'd say they're pretty well organized, but my inventory on the other hand, not so much. You just started a new world. How do you build a house for the guide? A prison cube. Yep. You're playing multiplayer and just found one of a kind chest item. How do you handle sharing it? Well, if it's one of a kind, you can't really divide it, right? So first come, first serve. You've just arrived at the dungeon's entrance, but the night is already halfway over. What do you do? Yeah, I'd probably wait until the next night just to be extra safe, so. All right, we're done. I am the relaxed type. Ooh, cl we got the cloud event. Oh, look at it, it's so cute. Let me zoom in. Aw. All right, let's go down. Maybe there's another chest. Oh yes, please. Finch staff? Oh wait. Oh, they're like the same thing though. Is or no, this one's better because it has the uh, furious enchant or reforge on it. But we'll keep this just in case. And we're just going to summon the finch as well, just to be, just so we can have some uh, variety. Extra variety damage bonus. Alright, we're in the jungle now. So exploring this should be pretty easy, because I do have a ton of minions to help me. So we can get some really good loot. <laughs> There's so many uh, finches on my head. That's kind of funny. Alright, we got some topaz. 10. We need 5 more for a hook. Alright, we've got enough topaz. 16. I'll go make it after I'm done exploring this cave. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Oh, okay, we might be able to make a sapphire hook. Oh yeah, we definitely do have enough. Okay. Okay, the fairy has shown me the way to another life crystal. Perfect. Ooh, okay, we got the Gravitation Potion. Now we can find, like, a fledg Fledgling Wings, maybe? Hopefully. So we can uh, negate some fall damage early on. Ooh, the Skeleton Merchant. But I don't think it, he sells anything. Uh, oh, okay. Got the Magic Lantern. Sell this. We need four more... Actually, no, it's like three more gold. Buy the Magic Lantern. There we go. Oh my, that Shelly just got murdered by those finches. Ooh, okay, got some rubies, which means King Slime. Okay, another golden chest. What do we have this time? Ooh, okay, we'll, we'll take the suspicious looking eye. Oh my god, that sound. Jesus. 
Okay, we got a jungle chest. Ooh, okay, yes. Nice. An upgrade. Staff of darts. Alright, now we have 12% variety damage bonus. Pretty good, pretty good. Ooh, Hermes boots. Yes. Alright, we are good. Okay, and we got a... Oh my goodness, I am almost dead. We also got a star, or a mana star statue. Oh, I'm dead. I need teleport. No, I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick it up. I'm so... No. But as I was saying, mana star statue, we can, um, I guess, use it to spam or summon more minions if we have to. All right. Let's make our hook first. And then we can make the gold pickaxe. Okay, godly, nice. And you know what? Let's make the gold crown. Because I think I'm going to do the king slime first. Alright, next up. I think I'm going to make... I don't know why I made the silver armor and then the iron armor. Totally forgot about the mildew set. So... We need to collect some more mushrooms. We have two so far. And we need six in total, so four more. Jesus, I just realized how many monkeys I have. <laughs> Ooh, we got the shepherd staff. Okay, that's good. Add to our variety damage bonus. Alright, we have enough stars now for one mana crystal. Alright, we should be good to fight the Eye of Cthulhu now. So let's just jump right into it. Oh yeah. Get it. Go, go, go. Okay, gotta start running now. Run, run, run. Come on. Oh my. Okay. Nice. I think for my last series of the Amulets of Many Minions mod, I actually didn't know that if you played in Master Mode and you kill bosses, you can actually summon the bosses to fight for you. So, let's see. we we'll do this. And then, yeah, there we go. We have the um, Eye of Cthulhu right now. And it is a material. Right now it doesn't do anything, right? But once I go to a uh, demon altar, I can switch it to the mod version and then it'll start fighting for me. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now we can make the unstable detonator. 27 summon damage. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Masterful, okay. And then let's make our mildew cap. And then now we just need one more mushroom to make the full set. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we have a 15% minion variety damage bonus. Alright, let's go uh, switch our I Cthulhu to the mod version. Boom. Alright, it should fight for us now. Alright, go. Kill it. Um. Okay, it's quite weak. It's probably, be, it's probably because I don't have the combat pet emblem on right now. But I need to go make that, but I don't have enough demonite bars. Let's make the slime crown. Let's go back up. Summon the king slime. Here we go. Ho ho ho! Oh wait, I'm so sorry, Jeff. Kill it! Ho <laughs> ho! Look at all those explosions. Alright. Oh, okay. Unfortunate we did not get uh, the King Slime Mount. I think next up is the Eater of Worlds. And with this many detonators, uh, I think it's going to be pretty easy. So let's go do that real quick. Alright, here we go.
One, two, that should be good enough, right? Wait, right, okay, let's go. Oh God. Oh my. Wait, it can't even get to me. It cannot even get to me. No hands, no hands. Got the ooh okay arcane worm scarf, and then we can now make let's see corruption cell staff. We can get okay. This is the combat pet emblem. Let's make that. So all we need to do is have it in the inventory, and now the eye of Cthulhu should be a lot stronger. Then we make the nightmare pickaxe, and let's make the chaotic chew toy. Alright, now it's night time, we should be ready to go for the uh, Skeletron fight. Oh, you know what? You know what? Um, I actually want to explore the sky first. I kind of want to get like uh, the fledgling wings or the shiny red balloon just so I can dodge Skeletron's attacks a lot better. Okay, here's one. Please. Okay. At least we didn't get the Star Fairy. Okay, here we go. Another one. Yes! Perfect. Alright, no more uh, fall damage. Oh, Meteorite's gonna spawn. Ooh, and then we can make the uh, Meteorite Fist. If you guys have seen my previous videos, that thing was insane. Alright, let's just start it up and see if we can do it. 3, 2, oh wait, do I have anything? Sure, why not? Three, two, one. Okay. Left hand is almost dead. Right hand too. Alright, here we go. Oh god. Okay, not bad, not bad. No. No. Kill it! Come on, it's gonna attack, yes. Go, 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 go! There we go. Very nice. Okay, we got the Necro Pendant, but... I don't think we'll be using this at all, because, um... I don't see a point in using my Squire. Because majority of the damage will be from my minions. Alright, let's open up the bag. Another Necro Pendant. Yeah, nothing really useful here, but it's alright. Alright, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed watching the video, hit the thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. This is Necro, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.